Hello, I'm Justine Martins, and I'm going to do my claim. My claim is that it is more beneficial for a child dealing with divorce for the parents to stay together for the children. Let me cite an opinion from an expert in the field of children dealing with divorce. Each family goes through divorce in a completely different way, and the common areas that could be dramatically affected in a child's life are emotional, behavioral, academic, and social skills. The negative behavioral effects that a child can have can be destructive or even criminal behavior. People who are from broken homes are twice as likely to attempt suicide than those who do not come from broken homes, and studies show in the early 1980s that children in repeat divorces earn lower grades than others, and peers rate them less pleasant to be around. Secondly, I would like to state some statistics that show why it is important for the parents to stay together. When it comes to raising a child, it is strongly important to have both father and mother figure present in the child's life. 40% of children growing up in America today are being raised without their fathers. About 75% of all ch children oppose their parents' divorce, while the other 25 children who witness their parents' loud arguments, accusations, and even physical violence, as a result, they do not oppose and they just want the fighting to end. An example to show why it's important to stay together is custody battles. Custody battles can be very damaging, but divorce of a child's parents can also thoroughly confuse a child, suggesting that it's better for the parents to end their marriage. The child doesn't have a concept as, as to what commitment really means. Since these children see their parents breaking vows without a second thought, they begin to believe that what's right for a parent must be right for them as well. Children are shown that they do not have to work out their problems as long as they can run away from them. 